celebration. What a beautiful day, huh? You getting plenty of liquids in you? Did you go see all the dance groups and all the different bands all over? Did you check out all the artists? How many of you people know this band? That's what we like to hear. We really try to be on uh, the cutting edge of trying to get new bands into this area that a lot of people haven't heard before. So, we, uh, we've had many bands that have worked their way on to the point where we can't afford them anymore, but we try to bring you the best we can with what we have here. How far can you hear us up the street, folks? Wave your hands if you can hear us. Great. That's great. As soon as we get the band up here, we're going to start the show. So why don't we encourage them by making some noise out here in the Salno streets, okay? You just keep it up until the band gets up here and maybe we can get a show started. So let's give them. The show that we do here in Norwalk, we like to party, we like to get out in the sun, and we love our music here. So let's give them a warm Norwalk welcome for Maxine Proven! Okay, everybody settle. We'll be playing in about seven minutes. In the meantime, you may want to form your own bands, musical groups, and entertain the crowd. You got it? Man, it's a bit of a drag about the weather, huh? The weather. If only we could have had the full co cooperation of Yahweh with this one in terms of weather. Or God, too. Or God. G dash D. Uh, Cal, are these, uh, where's Cal? Out there, out there. Hey, oh, there hey, Cal. Oh, yeah. Are these, uh, are these batteries, batteries that have been left on my snare drum just dead batteries? <laughs> they are? Dead batteries for the crowd. Trinks, trinkets, little special. Three children were sent to hospital yesterday in Norwalk, Connecticut. A battery hit a small child and when then bounced onto another child when two batteries ricocheted off of. <laughs> oh, this, this guy here is the Eddie Better guy. Which guy? The Eddie Better guy. Which guy? Oh, this guy? He's kind of like an Eddie Better kind of guy. Eddie Better guy? Right, because he's hot? No. <laughs> I didn't think that about Eddie Better, but I do about you, sir. Looking good. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm speechless at the beauty of this New Hampshire Avenue in lovely Connecticut. And I am thrilled to tell you that Vic Hadfield, who scored 52 goals for the New York Rangers in 1972, is here today as part of the festivities and we'll be doing the introduction of our group even though we've been introduced already. But now that we're sort of ready. Vic? You know, Hello, I, oh, am, it's right I here. am Vic Hadfield. If you're up uh, north of Toronto, please visit my mini putt center. It's one of the finest in Canada. And I would like to introduce a group that was reformed. It's a super group. Reformed from elements of Aluminum Carrot, the Melodeon Brothers, and four on the floor. Please welcome and Jimmy Moxie, Buffett. Moxie Krubus. <laughs> See my story, baby. It's against things that she says. She says, I'm drop dead. I'd rather go to bed with Gabrielle than see a Marquette. Ah! I'm loving way of Miss Burroughs. Leave all the life of Ella Hooks. I've been working with Pierre Burton because he's so smart. I'd like to go out dancing. My baby looks like a 
was a bunch of authors, my heart's a broken beat. They were just sitting there, doing some reading. So I started watching some TV, with my new CD player too. She said, turn it off, or I'll call the cops and I'll throw the book at you. All this argument made me get dizzy, but my doctor took no handle. Don't worry, he said. Don't worry, I'll be over when and finish my book. I'd like to go out dancing. My baby loves a bunch of authors. We've been living in hovels. Living all the money on brand new novel. So I got myself on a streetcar and it drove right into someone. You know, the driver said, I was looking straight ahead. He was reading the Toronto Sail. So I'm honey, you may go to work on some of the Calgary. Is hooked on my crucifixion. So we split and went to a party. Some friends, my girl, said she knew. But what a sight was its author's night on the place of like a who's who. Now I'm down to you, bro. Mario Puzo. Who's a funny fella? Tell me if you can sell him. Who brought the cat? What Margaret Atwood? Who needs a shame? He's Robert's baby. I'm not just out of a food fight. Sleeping and sleeping and sleeping and sleeping and sleeping and sleeping and
First impression, actually, you know, every day is sunny and every day there's a big festival in the streets. And I love the fact that, you know, what's cool is that people don't, you know, there's some enthusiastic people up front, and uh, and then there's like, there's, there's some, there's, I think it's really great that there's some people back there, you know, those people like, like maybe 30 feet behind the guy illegally taping the show right there. There's a, and, and they're like, there's not, like there's people, there's no people in front of them, but they're intentionally standing as far back as they're like, I don't know, Griddle. It looks kind of stupid to me. Goddamn Canadian music coming down into our country. They're actually from the south. <laughs> Visiting Connecticut, that's why they have that. That's if their you know, <laughs> their pants are any indication, that's not a band I'm interested in. Man. I'm sorry, that's all. You know, uh, for, we, a bunch, for a bunch of guys, one minute they're singing about the River Valley and the, uh, you know, that environmental shit and all that, and then they say, get in the car. I don't know what the message is, quite frankly. I think that the... I think it's passive-aggressive, dear, and we read about that last week. That's passive-aggressive. I saw that in the Chronicle Times. The Chattanooga Chronicle Times. <laughs> Speak, speaking of the uh, confused messages, usually uh, we... Uh, Oh, how we disdain the live tapers, the people who just come to the show and just tape stuff. But at this point, I look out to the fellow taping out there, the, the young Chelovac, and I say, Where were you in the last two months of great shows? <laughs> we would have had another live album. Of the same song. I look to the, I look to the young Bolshevik out there and I say, <laughs> Where are you with the party memberships we've been asking for? And it's also great to be at the home of Donovan. You know, this is where Donovan comes from. This is where Donovan's comes from? Well, sure, with Donovan's. Oh, yeah. 
smoke those, uh, that one tree that's got those special long seeds. You can smoke that. That was banana peels. That too. I that thought it was color. butter. It was butter, wasn't it? Toadskin. <laughs> Toadskins or uh, parquet, perhaps. <laughs> what do they sell at Donovan's? Is that a... Uh... Oh dear. dear, Jeremiah Donovan. Good. Well, wow. oh, that's not even. Is that Donovan? Is that, he looks a lot different. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we've been play, we're going to play tunes from all our albums, and this one is available on two albums. <laughs> How is that possible? It's available on one of our albums and also Rubber Soul. Here's a song called Michelle. <laughs>
you know, the economic miracle that has transpired in America over the last six years has clearly made its way to this small hamlet. People are well combed, decked out in fine dog collars, and, and, uh, and that's a sign of success. And in this next song, we would like to thank those who have put us here, put us Americans and Canadians in the position of first place overall. <coughs> The bosses. What does that mean? The guy's going like this to us. He needs a beer. Are you need to try to speak to us? No. Oh. No. Wait, keep, no, keep going. Okay. <laughs> I thought he was going, he was saying H. Careful, play H. <laughs> Jackie Mason blew his career with that kind of stuff. He can't stand a loss He's always cross His name is Ross My I love my boss I love my boss He isn't full of fluff and gloss he gives me work and many chores to do. My model, like Ben Carter, I do. And though he pays the minimum wage, it's all I do to him at this stage. So you need hats and I should ask for more. I answer with suits of old rage. I love my boss. I had to prove us lunch and date. My boss, he summoned me to speak with him. I sweated while awaiting my face. He said, you're done. He chased me too much with a gun. Goodbye, my dear boss, let me apologize. In hindsight, there was a gun. I love my boss. He's going out now with my sister. Dancers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Where are we going, Devo? Up to the top, to the very top. Orbiting Rondell. We'll go to the moon. You'll probably be heading there soon. Someday flowers will grow there, but first you gotta go there. Now oh, you will go to the moon. Now you will live in 
the stars. Your fat guy will probably be Mars. You will ride a greater scooter and eat from your computer. Oh, you will live in the stars. Your stellar smile will always be knowing your home and home to stay. And you'll look down upon the earth and say, I can't believe we ever lived that way. There's plans for a hotel at a lagoon. You'll be sitting around a star kicking off your food. Oh, you will go to the moon. Hey, you'll go to the moon. Our paradise to ride old Cancun. And one side's always sunny. You'll be raking in the money. Oh, you'll get paid on the moon. It's been our most abiding dream. And a dream is an easy sell. And when the tourists come in droves, you'll be the big cheese on that orbiting rondelle. <laughs> we'll go to the moon. Dairy pioneers will call us too. Like these guys. <laughs> Someday flowers will grow there, but first I gotta go there. Oh, you will grow to the moon. I gotta tell you, you will grow to the moon. One time you will go to the moon. Go to the moon. Yeah! You will go to the moon. Thank you. It takes a lover drink. It takes a cider drink. It takes a beer drink. It takes another drink. It takes a lover drink. A Donovan drink. It takes a cider drink. It takes another drink. Danny boy. You did it to me, Danny boy. got knocked up, but I got up again, ain't nothing gonna keep me down, I got knocked up, but I got up again, ain't nothing gonna keep me down, I got knocked up, but I got up again, ain't nothing gonna... That's good, Bert. <laughs> My first disco beat. Well, he was just some Regis filled in when he got his molars filled in. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're still covering for the keyboard, so I say we go back to that song. I got knocked up, and I got up again. I'm getting pregnant no more. I got knocked up, but I got up again. And he got me down. He drink, he takes a mother drink. He takes a vodka drink, a Diet Coke drink. He takes another drink, a UK drink. That's a lot of beer. That's what we drink in the UK. <laughs> Danny boy, we stole this melody. Danny boy, I get knocked down, but I get up again. All the sort of people sing around. I got knocked down, but I got up again. We're just rocking here. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to sing that song. Musical chairs. Well, you know, uh, every town has its own little anthem, and that is also true for the town that we've come to know as Sono. <laughs> so here's the Sono anthem. It's called Sono Somnambulance. <laughs> So if you could get a march together as the, as the people of Sono. Do people just call it Sono, like as a matter of course? Yeah. You can't get to Sono from here. <laughs> do they say that? What do they call it? <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> no one wants to say it. No one really wants to say it. <laughs> let's, do a, let's do a, uh, let's do a cheer on Sunday. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck.
Why don't we just, uh... <laughs> You know, before Moxie proved us there was a trio that was way better. And that's us three without Dave, polluting our music. And so here, what do we do? So we're going to do some Elvis Costello. Don't stop that talking. I could talk all night. My mind was sleepwalking. several albums and here's one that exists on no album except the one that the taping guy cuts every third show <laughs> it's called sad girl <laughs> Thank you. 
when it's a thing. sure, but I think it's Grandpa Frumis! Live yeah. in Connecticut! There he is, he's doing his dance from uh, the Shadow Dancing Dance. They Andy Gibb. That's right, you crazy people. I came back from the dead to show you what it used to mean when we used to say back in my time, bust a move. I can do this for hours. Just tell me if you want me to stop. Stop. Okay, all right, let's have a sing-along! Call and response! Uh, a vocal plebiscite! Yes, take it away, boys! Celebration. They've got the NHL's most embarrassing logo. by Godzilla and Taco Bell added that frisky chinchilla actually the name of the canine species is Chihuahua I'm making the rhymes work through dint of bravura hi Keeping informed of those coast-to-coast -coast capers 
Nothing like standing in a sauna. Nothing like opening the pores. Nothing like a high tech two by five blowing a race just to the great outdoors. Don't give me no skill, give me a speedboat. I got to go fast. The wicked thing I'm picking gonna make the licking last. Cut out the treble cause it's up in my face. And Murray, play me something solid on the bass. Distinctly upper class. Well, not everybody. 
yes, sir, I'll get the door, roll the carpet on the floor, a man, for a man, for a man, such a man. Ditto. 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 Ask us the name of the king. It's Rush. Thank you very much. We were actually in uh, we were in Washington D.C. Uh, a couple of days ago, and we uh, <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> And uh, that's the Connecticut-Washington connection that people have been talking about for a long time. We were in Washington, D.C., and we had the joy of actually recording a special, a radio special for All Things Considered. It's on an NPR show. Um, uh, so it'll be in the second week of August. Uh, listen for that if you get NPR, which I presume you do somewhere. And that was one of the songs. In fact, uh, I did the set list tonight based on what we did on NPR. So the first five songs and that one, and anyway, whatever. But uh, it was a joy for us because it's our, it was our first... Uh, our first time doing something big like that on the radio or TV in America. <laughs> and in this case, it was radio. <laughs> yeah. So with TV options are still open, if there's a bigger TV thing out there that somebody wants us to do, we'll do it. Oh, we'll go to that like... That'll be the last thing. NPR, PBS. Thank you, America.
American humans. Well, unfortunately, uh, things got set up a little late and we had some technical difficulties, so we have to wrap up the show in the next two hours. Yeah. So we'd actually like to do an extended, uh, we're going to play one song and then another song that's about an hour and a quarter. It's actually a, it's called a fish song. It's called Ramblin' Man. I mean a song from, a song from Rumblefish. The, uh, oh, the Trying to make a living and doing the best I can. It goes on in that for an hour and a half. No, just kidding. This bud's for you. This note is for you. Moxie Purvis takes no uh, commercial sponsorship at all, except for we are sponsored by a certain group in Michigan. They're called Gen General Motors. <laughs> and they're in league with and called the Michigan Militia. Shot of me flipping my lid. A bad month reporter, a classic case of race pollution. She said, What is the problem? Fight for you and a blue eyed Jesus. America first, Paris gets the pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, read some gourmet bills. Back on 
people trying to cross the Red Sea. <laughs> the waves have parted. The throngs are making their way to the other side to see one person, a guest who will come out on this stage. <laughs> who is that guest? Well, I'll tell you. He never moved again. <laughs> he turned into a pillar of salt. Oh, that's his truck arriving. Yes. I was waiting for the signal. <laughs> well, how about you guess? Ladies and gentlemen, is this? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is this? Olaf Palma! No, it died. Tragically, Barbra Streisand mourned his death, along with other liberals. <laughs> Rightfully. <laughs> Is it Michael Dukakis? No! We only wish! <laughs> Is it Mean Joe Green? No! Getting a lot closer. Is it the woman who played Fran on Alice? No! A lot closer, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Ford. That's right, here comes a guy. Who? 18 times in his illustrious career. Slept with the woman who played Franz Bernalis, the King of Spain! Once I was the King of Spain. King of Spain, a slut. Smoking. Oh, my unspeakable wife, Queen Lisa, gave me such a hard time about Fran. The whole Fran thing. Firing gubernatorial candidate, King of Spain. I'm telling you, I was the King of Spain. Should I sterilize my finger after touching you, King? <laughs> and now I work at the Pizza Pizza. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That was my home. I'm telling you, I was looking up Spain. And now I vacuum the turf at Sky Dome. Once he was looking up Spain. I can't wait. I'm lowering interest rates. My people say, King, oh, you're such a genius. This metal overhead. It's lazy fair. I don't even give a care. Let's make Friday part of the weekend. I give all of these people a chocolate eclair. Zamboni! Once he was the king of Spain. Yeah! A miracle match! It's a miracle match! They're playing on ice! Check them out! 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 Check them out!
and rightfully so, as to how the King of Spain came to be living in North America, working at these shit jobs, let's face it folks, minimum wage and less. And why would such a person make such a move? King, yes, I, I'm not curious, I have no curiosity about you. have no curiosity no. about you? Well, all right then, but stick around anyway, would you? Sure. I, it I, gets better. I have an answer. Uh, you, you have an answer? Yes. What? Uh, temporary insanity. No. I've used that plea too many times already. Are you curious about my epilogue? <laughs> Do you want to know? No, no, King. King, 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 they're not very curious, you see? Oh, they're not very curious. They're not curious. I didn't notice that earlier, yes. Not even by curious. <laughs> Do you want to know his epilogue? King, yes. The people back there have been lulled from that sign. That sign is blocking, is, is not blocking the sun and they're being lulled asleep. They are, are Some ambulance. Like the, uh, like the scene in Dorothy in yes. the Wizard of Oz. They can't yes. say, they yeah, can't yeah. scream yes. They can't scream yes. Despite right in their hearts they want to scream yes. They do want to scream yes. Do you want to hear the epilogue? Yeah. Do you want to know? Yeah. Do you want to know? Yeah. Do you want to know? Yeah. Should I tell them then, guys? Tell us, Did yeah. you see late? One night, when the palace was asleep, out of my royal chambers and into the garden I creep and I wait till the appointed time when the moon is lighting the pitch at which point my peasant friend who looks just like me arrives we make a switch Prince and Pauper, Junior and Walter are well made up to summer and copper under my own volition I took a change of position so next time you drool in the pizza line remember slower pizzas more luscious the king of Spain never rushes once I was the king of Spain I was looking for a planet way to improve us. Now I eat from the pie. I'm telling you I was looking up Spain. Now I eat from the pie. And now I'm jamming with Moxie Fruvas. Once he was looking up Spain. The king. Eat them, go to know who you are. He's gonna like them, you're gonna see. You might like them up in the tree. Uh, no, not in a tree, not in a car. Would you let me be? No box, no fox, no house, no mouse. Not here or there or anywhere because you guessed it. I don't like green eggs on ham. I don't like those ham. I train, a train, a train, a train. Would you, could you, in a train or up in an aeroplane? Now how about in the dark? We can drive in park. We can listen to the crickets and the pimples bar. No, not in a plane, not in the dark, not on a train, not in a car, not up a tree. Cause I don't like them, Sam. See, not in a schoolhouse, Good. or a shoebox, Shoe or a house mouse, uh, or a red box. Not here, there, and everywhere. They don't even like the Beatles with the long, long hair. Hey. Not the Beatles. <laughs> Not the Beatles. This is Southern Connecticut. There's like, you know, liberal hippie people who don't take a shower types here. <laughs> And, and they like the Beatles. And that's very liberal as well. <laughs> Sorry? I'm not taking a shower. I've been a re Republican all these years and I'm clean as a whistle. I've never, just never been on the other side. <sighs> See, there's nothing there. Hmm. <laughs> now, the Beatles, who should I have mentioned as opposed to I'm the Beatles? I'm confused now. Yes, well. Confused Dave. by your actions. And my attitude. Yes, your audaciousness. Mm -hmm. You stand in front of a wonderful, a beautiful crowd. Are you Fabulous. telling me this isn't a beautiful crowd? Yeah. Ooh. Gorgeous. This is a gorgeous crowd. That gorgeous crowd, and you have the audacity to uh, to to stand up here and diss the Beatles, right. a group that these people were weaned on. Mm. Really? <laughs> yes. Well, yes. Weaning. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't I read about weaning in last month's, in, you know, uh, last month's Don't name? look at me, King. Uh, <laughs> Don't look at me. Weaning. I hear it's all the rage in California. Weaning. Yes. Good Why don't you tell us a bit more about weaning? Well, I'm just curious about weaning. I've never seen it. Hey, Ke uh, yeah. geez. Yeah, what? Yeah. When, when's the last time you had uh -huh. a nice, <laughs> fresh... Oh, keep talking. <laughs> He got me! There's the Jack Lane dance. The Jack Lane dance coming after the kick in the ass. <laughs> well, um... You don't like green eggs and ham. Oh, Mr. Perception, Sam, I am! Well, I don't know, there's a little bit of eating with a goat! I would not, could not, with a boat. Well, would you, could you, on a boat? I would not, could not, on a boat, and I will not, never, with a goat. I'm not interested in somebody facing the rain on a train. I should have heard of some government pain! Not in the dark! Not up a tree, not on your fine china with Earl Grey tea. No boxes, boxes, houses, mouses, husbands, and wives! No spouses! Why are you trying to make me eat that? I don't like it! I wouldn't feed too much, I just don't like them, Sam, I am. I do not like green eggs and ham! 
it's the cheese, you just think you don't like them, so you say, and you begin to remind me of Dara Stan. You say you don't like this, and you don't like that. When you start to sound like a finicky cat, just try them, try them. And you may find you like looking better than two British eggs over easy in the fry pan. And to accompany to this fine taste, we have Marsha Dam. Puffin' Space Sam! If you get out of my face, I'll try that off. You call up the place. Sure! That makes a crowd disperse more quick than a great big puddle of stick. He's gonna try them, 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 he's I don't need that stuff. He doesn't need that stuff. He doesn't need that stuff. He doesn't need that stuff. He does not need that stuff. Thank you very much for listening to us on a Saturday afternoon here in Norwalk. Uh, it's, a, it's an absolute pleasure. A lot of wonderful faces. We really appreciate it. We're Moxie Privas from Toronto, Canada. And if you haven't seen us before, thank you for sticking around and watching us. Uh, we're going to come back here in the fall into this area. And we're going to play New York City, and we're going to play Boston, and we're going to play uh, Northampton, and a bunch of places. So uh, maybe somewhere in Connecticut, too. I don't know. But uh, we want to thank the organizer of this uh, Sona Festival for having us and treating us so well. Sarah Hauer, who's a... Uh, who is a wonderful person in her own right, but who is also a blood relation of one of our, of one of the members of one of our favorite bands and friends, the Neils, from this area also. So thanks to Sarah and de facto her brother, <laughs> and uh, and to the whole staff here and the crew who've done a, a great job of uh, on the fly helping us out, and we really appreciate it. It's a great a great festival and. We hope to really enjoy it by getting really pissed drunk in the next half an hour. I tried in half an hour! I don't know. We, uh, you can look us up at Fruvis.com. We do have, indeed, we have a, uh, a mailing list and, and, and the t-shirts are over there and uh, copies of our discs, a couple of which aren't available in the United States. And our new record is called Live Noise and it's available over there and it's also in the record stores. If you like what you hear, please support us. Pick up a record, come see another show, spread the word. Thank you very much. You're the best. Goodbye. <laughs>
walk of a woman's man, no shop at all. Music loves to bring me warmth, I've been kicking around since I was born. But now it's all right, it's okay, you can't look the other way. We can try, what I'm saying, you got time to back for man. Love you, remember the way you are, love you, I'm staying alive, staying alive. You don't see the break of the neck, but about the shit, and we're staying alive, staying alive. This is how you support the arts, folks. If they're going to be in Connecticut, go out and see them. We got two more great bands tonight. Stick around. Have something to drink. We'll be right back with you. Welcome again to the 22nd.